Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I'm Jay, and today we're gonna to be doing something pretty cool I've never actually done before, and we'll be printing on Legos or building blocks uh, right here. So we'll go ahead and see uh, how these printers function on this. So let's uh, get a graphic and get what we need for this. I suggest getting a um, some calipers. Any calipers will really do, but uh, we'll get the size of the block. So we want to print right in here is where I'm shooting to print. So I'm going to get my measurements, my width. And I'm an American, so I'm going to measure in inches. 1.24 inches, which is about an inch and a quarter by 0.36 inches tall, which is about three eighths of an inch tall. And that's our printing area. So let's jump over to, uh, well, I'm going to design this in draw and then uh, get this graphic ready. So I've already imported in our graphic and now we need something here to represent our Lego, which I'm gonna use a square tool. But you could do this in Photoshop. I just prefer Corel Draw, I don't know why. 1.24 inches width by 1.36 tall. I'm sorry, it's just 0.36 tall inches. So that will represent our Lego or the face of the Lego that we hope to print on. And then uh, I'm gonna take the, uh, the image is a little bit larger than the rectangle. A good rule of thumb is to make sure your images, if you want to make them smaller is fine. You can make it smaller, but don't stretch them bigger because then they get pixelated. So just a little word of advice. So let's get this in here. That's probably a good height. I'll go right there. That's going to fill the uh, print area, not too bad. And we'll take this outline and then I'm just going to take this outline and I'm sorry, and we'll come up here and we're going to have no outline. So what this will do is hold this here with no print, with no background, with the image in between. So with the view, you can verify this in a wireframe. So we have a, a blank, nothing here outline. That's just gonna create a background for us. Okay, so we actually, I like prefer to export this as a JPEG, I'm sorry, as a PNG. And we'll just call this Lego. And you can see here is our background is blank. Okay. Now we're gonna bring this into uh, spot color over to Photoshop. I have a video on showing you how to do Photoshop. You guys can um, jump over there and view that one. Maybe we'll put a card up here or something or down in the description for a link to that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and import in the um, file with the spot channel. It's important to note if you're, I'm gonna print white behind this because we're printing on a blue Lego. So we wanna go up to the spot channel here and I'm not gonna print gloss on this one but we'll go ahead and print spot channel. We're printing, this one's printing with the ZZ2C, which shares a print head with the white. So there's only two channels of white. So I'm gonna crank the white up. 100 might be a little much though. Let's try 68, that sounds perfect. And then I'll click okay. And then we'll click print and print. And then now it's sent to the printer and it is printing. Okay, so I have a ZZ2C, which is a two head printer. It prints um, CMYK and white from one print head and varnish from the other. I'm not gonna print varnish on this one. I think we'll be good with just white and color and we'll see what it looks like. I've actually never printed this. I'm curious if we're gonna need a promoter with our inks. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the lid just so you guys can see what's going on. And then we had printed a um, outline on this just for reference so we know where we're going to put our lego if we wanted to print 100 legos at once we would print 100 little squares is, or you could cut something out with a laser but that's a, for another video but we would print hundreds of squares on here and reference where we're, we're going to put our actual legos okay and i also want to let you know that we we went ahead and got a good nozzle check and uh on the um, on the machine so it's ready to print for the day and let's go ahead and get this in and get it focused First thing, we can just bring it over and you can slide it down underneath the uh, autofocuser here to get an, a good autofocus. But I tend not to like the autofocus. I'll use it to gauge how, um, how far away to print and then I'll actually bring the print head over like so. And then I'll just eyeball. We want it about three millimeters away from the face, but within five millimeters, we normally get an okay print. So about an eighth of an inch. All right, let's print and see what happens. Looks pretty good, actually. So we have here is the logo. And we'll scratch on this bad boy right here. And it actually stayed on, so. That's my fingernail. 
Looks good to me. I think it held on there pretty good without promoter. So we can print direct the Legos without promoter. Now let's have some fun and print more Legos. Okay, so we built a little wall here and let's uh let's print something. Great thing about printing the same thing over and over and over again is I don't have to mess with focusing anything. We just go straight to print. All right. There it is. It's pretty cool. I guess we could break these apart. They're like a puzzle. Put my head back on. There you go. Need a little more white, but it looks really good. All right. Got one more thing to print. All right, so let's print the same image on your traditional Lego, whatever these things are. Let's do it. All right, for this one, I'm gonna turn on our vacuum table. All right, you see it pull that down? Awesome. I do like how while they're printing, you can be sitting on the computer next to it, preparing your next file or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Laying down 100% white this time with the 2C, the ZZ2C. Not sure how this is gonna look, let's see. Here we go. All right, so my experience, so this is a lot like printing on acrylic. Uh, if the UV lamps are up, it bubbles this thing up like this and it can create head warps. So we may want to consider lowering our um, temperature of the lamps down maybe to 70% from 100% to keep this from bubbling. But here we go. I'd say that looks like me, dimples, little pixel in it. But the true test. There, there we go. Still looks good. I don't know, that looks pretty good. All right, so looks like we can print on Legos. So this is the ZZ2C. We'll have a link to that in our description where we get this printer and then a link to these great inks that we're using that print direct to these Legos. It's pretty wild. All right, well, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.